Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna test the Canon C70 if it can work balancing on the Moza Air 2 gimbal with a RF to EF adapter with Tamron 50 to 30 mm G2 lens. First, I uh, take out this from from the gimbal. This is a Manfrotto quick release plate. When I turn the C70, I see that this hole in the middle, this is bigger than this from the quick release plate. And if I put in these sides, will not work balancing on the gimbal. So needing this in the middle to find the solution. And I find it is this converter. I have to first to mount this here. And if I screw until maximum, it's going too deep inside. And um, because it's going too deep inside, I not have so much trust for the safety. That's why now I have to, to try something else. Put this inside here like this. Then I will screw like this and it will work fine. But it's better if I, uh, I will uh, try to buy one what is a little bit longer for the to be more safe and let's put on the gimbal and here is a problem because of this strap handle from here it's not going to fit okay because I don't want to take this off because if I take off and uh, I will want something run and gun shooting I will uh, have to put back so if I leave on and I can find a way to mount on the gimbal and then to just take off and shooting handheld something to put back on the gimbal and keep going with the gimbal uh, shots. So what I find is the next. It's working to put this on the gimbal with this strap, but this strap will be uh, going in this side, in one side. Now, if you try to put to fitting this way, will not work because the camera is brighter and I, we, you have to put like this here. Okay, now it should work. Now it's working. And about balancing now, already I was tested this, uh, this setup and it's working, but I have to balance more a little. So, now should be fine. Um, I turn on the gimbal and let's see. And Keep in mind what I say about this strap. If you put the strap in between here, will not work. Will not work to use the, the camera. So you must make this place here to, to just stay like this and will be everything fine. Now I turn on the gimbal and voila. It's working. It's working with this lens, what is a heavy lens, and with uh, the adapter. This is nice. This is a powerful gimbal, but I was very... I was wondering if it will work with this strap, because I don't want to take this strap uh, away every time I put on the gimbal. Because I want to shoot with the gimbal, and then I, take, I stop the gimbal, I take camera off the gimbal, and uh, I shoot handheld and I want always this strap to be there and it's working in this way. Calibration, auto tune. Again. So now it's now it's uh, calibrated for the heaviness of the of the gimbal of the camera, 
it's pretty heavy setup, but it's uh, it's working, and this is this is nice. And even can close this um, because the gimbal is powerful enough. You can close the display. But now, because I close the display, I'm curious if can. Oops, not not work. Touch the the screen. Check out, it's touching the screen and you can broke the screen in this way. So the best is to go to leave the screen out. I'm learning now in same time with this video with you because I just was tested if stay on the on the gimbal with the strap. But more uh, more many tests I didn't made. I press record and I wanna test if can zoom in to 30 millimeters when uh, when is on the gimbal. In the, if the gimbal holding this uh, heaviness, because this is a zoom lens, what is zooming inside. But anyway, it's it's um, it's goes the the heaviness goes a little bit in front. And let's test. Yes, it's working fine. It's working fine. To 30 millimeters. So, even zooming this lens, Tamron 50 to 30 millimeters, it's uh, it's okay on on this gimbal. To 50 millimeters back. Yeah, this I wanted to show you that you can use um, the. Canon C70 on the gimbal Moza Air 2 without too much problems. Are not problems. This strap here, but the strap, if you put how how I told you, it's working just fine. It's working just fine. Um, yeah, and the screen is better to stay outside because if you close, if you close like this, the screen. Oops, like this, if you close the screen and if you want shoot like this, you can touch the screen and broke the screen with the gimbal. It's, the, it's better for safety, it's better to use the screen outside. So, like this is better. Or another gimbal. Or you can fine tuning from here because there are two elements what is sliding. But um, I, by myself, I will use always uh, the screen outside because so I did with uh, every camera what I had. And when I use the gimbal, I always use with the screen outside. It's easy for me because I can turn around when I left, when I leave down, I can uh, put the screen like this and um, uh, filming. When I go up, I can turn the screen like this and filming again. So it's better for me the screen to be outside. But if you prefer uh, the screen to be closer to the body, you must be aware for this motor to not touch to broke the screen. The rest is fine. It's working. This is a powerful gimbal. So this is my video for today. I wanted to really show you that you can use this setup with the Moza Air 2 without problems. I will shoot now some um, some steady shots with uh, with this gimbal, with this setup, with Canon C70, and uh, to see how how steady it is on this gimbal. So, uh, see you in the next video. Next video, I will want to compare the C70 with the Canon EOS R5 because before to get this camera, I was looking like crazy because I own the R5 is shooting now and the Canon 250D is shooting here and um, from top because I own a Canon to uh, Canon EOS R5 I was wondering and that was find it never what I wanted what I truly wanted uh, a dynamic range comparison in 8K RAW C-Log 2 from the Canon EOS R5 and the 4K C-Log 2 with this camera I'm very curious how better the C70 uh, is on the dynamic range in real life, not in studio, not in uh, controlled environment, 
just outside with puffy clouds, uh, with shadows from the trees and so on. See you in the next video now. What will be with a C70 compared, compared with a Canon EOS R5, dynamic range, especially dynamic range. So, see us in the next video. Bye.